Alright guys, I'm back with a new lit AF modding tutorial. This is episode 12, or part 3 of our generator block. This episode is going to be really laid back. We're just going to implement some, uh, you know, some fine rotation into our uh, generator block. So let's grab our Cheetos, smoke our joints, and get to programming. By the way, that's not my new intro. Don't worry about it. Okay, so rotating a block requires something called block states, which personally I hate to work with, but you gotta do it. So first we have to define a property. The property is what we can change. The property variable itself isn't going to change, but the value can. It, it'll make a little more sense later. I'm gonna call this facing, and this is going to only be a horizontal facing block. We don't want the generator to face up and down, we just want it to face north, west, east, and south. Okay, so inside of our constructor we actually have to tell Forge what it is going to do by default. In reality we set it ourselves anyway, but it has to know. So the default is going to be our default block state with, oh dear, base state with a rotation. So with property facing, that enum facing north. This doesn't really matter, it just has to be some rotated enum facing value. Okay, so now we actually have to add a new method. It's the public void on block added method. This is called when the block is loaded. So inside of here, we just have to set our default facing. I use this. And this is just going to be world position and state. We will be implementing our own method. So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to be private because we won't need to call this from elsewhere. So set default facing world world block position position and I block state state. Oops, I appear to have mistyped it and that's why it was throwing a temper tantrum at me. Okay, so we want to make sure the world is not remote, so we're running this on the server. Okay, so the way a furnace works is actually interesting, I find. So basically what it does is if you are facing north, and the block to the north is a full block, and the block to the south is not a full block, it's actually going to face south. Which makes sense, because facing south, it's going to put its face towards you. So let's go ahead and implement this. Now the way it is done in the furnace code, which is basically what I'm using here, is they have a block state for each side, and then they have a variable for what the current value is. So we'll get one for north, and that's world.getBlockState.Position.North returns the value of our current position, or whatever this variable is, which is our current position, with the z subtracted by 1. So I'm just going to do that three more times. We're going to do south, west, and east. And I'll have to use the same values over here in our position modification. And now we have to pull the enum facing out because this is set in another method that we'll be changing later. So what we do is we pull the value out of our current block state, so we get our value, set it to facing, you'll have to cast. Okay, so now we've got some if statements. So if we're facing, I use this, enum facing dot north, and we're going to check if north is a full block, and not south dot is a full block, our facing is going to be enum facing dot south. So once again, we get to paste this three more times. So if enum facing is south, we're just going to switch these. Okay, now let's go ahead and do west. So if we're facing west, we check if west is a full block, east is not, and then we set it to east. Once again, you're just going to invert this for east. That's simple enough. And now we just have to set the block state once again. Our position state with the property 
of facing set to our facing value. Okay, that's actually the longest method we have to type today, so that's pretty good. So now we have to give it a state for placement. This is called when it before it's placed, then it's placed, and then this is called. So that is why we are able to extract the facing value because it is set in this method. Which is literally one line, so you're pretty fine on this. Oops. I'm bad at typing. Ignore that. Okay, so this method actually takes quite a few arguments. It takes the world we're in, the position of the block, which way the player is facing, where exactly the player clicked, the metadata on the block, and the player themselves. And all we're going to do is we're going to return get default state with property of facing. We're just going to get player dot get horizontal facing dot get opposite. So if the player is facing north, we flip it to south. So now we're going to extract a block state from metadata. This is so it's actually saved in the world instead of being erased. And it just gives us our metadata. Now we want to pull enum facing out of the metadata. Luckily, enum facing has a method to do this for us. Now we've got to make sure that if our axis is the y-axis, we're just going to default it to north, and then we're going to return get default state with the oops with property of facing and set it to face. All right, so now we're going to do the opposite. We're going to get meta from state. This is going to return a new enum facing. We're going to get this value from the state, and we're going to get the index of that. Okay, so now we just want to add an i block state with rotation i block state state rotation rotation. We're going to just return a new state with property facing rotation dot rotate. We're once again casting our state dot get value. Okay, so next we want to return a mirror. That just takes a block state and a mirror. So we're going to return state with rotation mirror dot to rotation. And then once again we have to extract this. Okay, that's the mirror. And finally, this is just a protected method. Protected block state container create block state. And this is going to return a new block state container with this block. Then we have to list the properties, which is facing with capitals. Okay, so now we actually have to open our block generator JSON file. Okay, so instead of having a normal variant, we're going to have facing equal north. Make sure you actually put a comma at the end of these now, except for the last one. So we're going to have north, south, west, and east. So all we actually have to do is we just tell it to rotate by 180 degrees. West is a rotation by 270 degrees, and East is a rotation by 90 degrees. So let's test it. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab our generator, and... Oops. There we go. So we can see that it works. Now I want to test rotation. Theoretically, if we place it here, it should still face outwards. And it does. Nice. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, this tutorial it took me 20 minutes. I don't know how long it's gonna take you um, If you enjoyed it go ahead and leave a like and if you enjoy my content, please subscribe. Thanks for watching